Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Mr. Babble, and I'm back with more Edna and Harvey. Harvey's new eyes, aka Edna and Harvey 2. <laughs> Shibuya power! Shibuya power! Weeaboo! Um, Volcano Pananoka! Shiny Rainbow Miyasake! Shing! Shing! Alrighty. Oh. Shibuya power! Shibuya power! She girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya is and cute. only Shibuya is hot right now? Where's Same uniform your as you. Where are your Japanese accessories? Oh. You mean craft that doesn't matter? Uh, huh? Oh man, you're really out of it, Lily. You're the one pronouncing anime glist sun sparkles. Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't tell me you've got your eye on my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shy? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Mayayoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust. Exactly. The thing is, they could Everyone actually be talking about a real, real anime girl will and only keep all the same lines. If it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Muroshi Sparkle! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Kamanukri! Shing! And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win! Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? It seems a little too hardcore to me. But Riot Girl does it too! On page 31 in volume 453, she puts one of Nagayuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces kidnap Musushi Rainbow. Shibuya is cool! Miyarushi Sparkle! You're both insane and dumb. And I don't want to talk to you no more. Uh-oh. A-holes. Right. Or one A-hole and two guys who are too spineless to uh -huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched Ooh. how her slippery fellow student disappeared. He's a slippery bugger after him. Right. Anyway, one A-hole and two spineless wimps. All right. Let us go ahead and face what we gotta face. Who do we have? Move your here, leg. Then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shawnee. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert. That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange <laughs> accident <laughs> after another. I honestly <laughs> hardly dare get out of bed anymore. <laughs> but none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Note to self, arrange an accident. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. A recipe for from Mother Superior. Well, Why is the screen bouncing? I think I'll hold on to it for now. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Yeah, thanks for actually standing up. No, you didn't do Jack Doodly fudge. Why is the screen bouncing? Ugh. I think it's trying to get me to the bottom of the stairs. But it's sucking at it. 
What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Garrett done vanished. He's indivisible. Lily had spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Yikes. The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. Do Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm trying to no, talk to you, crackpot. Nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a. Or for Templars with outrageously Sorry. hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Who Where cares? Did they go? Did who they cares? Get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who doubly who cares and infinity who cares? There is just one answer to all these questions. The great church conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. All right. I'll infinity uh, who cares you in a, a minute. second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Why would there be ancient Templar, Templar secrets in this middle of nowhere convent school in the middle of nowhere? Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. You're kind of a dick. Um... Shh. You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Yeah, you then, mentioned that. all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said no. made sense. It did not. Here you go, Jack. Hammer. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill. But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. You're not even on one of the tiles, idiot. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank! Frank! Ah, oh, what the hell? Alright. He's up to something suspicious. A surveillance Aha. room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. Yep. And like super spying. Like, why the hell does he need that? People speak up and can speak in the confession was loud enough for a person on the other side to hear. Alright. Get 
Give the recipe back, uh, a hole. Ooh, look who's coming to get her recipe back. If it isn't our little goody two shoes, Lily, you better split before I tie your shoelaces together, or worse. Isn't that usually done to people who are unaware? <laughs> What? Now you're upset? Did the nasty boy bother you again? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're such a crybaby. You're a meanie poo meanie pants. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your well, butt. Well, well. I'm gonna rip out your spine What's and floss this? with it. Is this you standing up for yourself? <laughs> Just look at you, Lily, with your bow. And your braids. You don't actually think you could stand up to a bad boy like me, do you? I was playing with matches before you'd said your first morning prayer. How could I ever take someone like you seriously? Do you know how to spit cherry pits? Or don't hunt need to. sparrows with a slingshot? Just I wouldn't. Face I'm not it. a sadist. You'll never be as tough as me. And that means you won't get your recipe either. Gee, maybe someday I can be tough enough to pick on little girls. Uh, oh, you really want the recipe back, don't you? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know that. Just give me a sec so I can wrap it up for you with a bow. Hey! Lily was tough. Man, she's naive. It was so rare for her to get presents. <laughs> you so don't have a clue, do you? Get lost, Lily, or I'll be forced to call you names. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Well, I'm a, a real, real ass. badass. Just face it. You're not tough enough to make any demands around here. Hey, uh, man. Uh, tell me, how come you even dare to come here anyway? You know we're not allowed to play in the garden anymore. Or did Mother Superior send you? You can tell your beloved Mother Superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. Ha! But I bet you're too scared. You're scared of your echo, right? And you should be. Because one day, when you least expect it, who knows? You might turn around and see that someone has stolen your milk. <laughs> you're weird. And a jerk. Everybody is jerks. Pretty much everybody in this damn game is jerks. Like, maybe not entirely, but pretty much. Oh, how wonderfully the fully operational detonator on the aircraft bomb blinked. Yoink. Alright, I seem to recall some people wanted help destroying the school or some such nonsense. I'm sure they will approve of this. I'm sure they're not just full of empty talk and BS. What have you got now? I hope it's a weapon for the battle against... <laughs> That's a real detonator! And it's live! You have to defuse it, Suka! Hurry! But with what? With the power of love! What? Okay, Shy's an idiot. I know! Even more so than the other one. Phew, that was close. We'll snitch to Mother Superior. Exactly. This time you really went too far, Lily. What on earth Snitches are you thinking? Get stitches. You're even crazier than I thought. Totally un -gumbo. Don't just stand there. Get that bomb away from us. Take it somewhere where it can't do any damage. A bomb-proof place? A fireproof drum? Or something like that? Okay. Thank you. I'll do just that. I'll take it somewhere safe. Safe. Big bomb proof safe. Hey, wait, what? Hello. Huh? What? Quick, close the door before anyone sees me. This is the last safe place in the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. Wasn't it safe when you were playing little kiss ass backup boy for the bully? Was that safe? Uh, don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about. But he'd always been jumpy. Yeah, he's but jumpy and nervous. Someone might hear you. And then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. 
The stove is the safest place in the entire coffin. You know, it has a corrupt steel casing, titanium reinforced interior walls, and his lead coating inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Krupp. I've heard that last name before somewhere. Nah, no, no biggie. I'll figure it out sometime. Tra la la! Uh, no, get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. Yeah, you know, help. La, 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 la. The end of the world is near. What was that? Well, anyway. Here, have some it was company. The perfect place it's dark to get in there. The detonator. This thing has lights. Well, what do you have there? Lily could That's way bigger than it the before. Hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the door again to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. Um, Lily? Mommy? Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept hearing all these sounds. Shaboom. Oh yeah. Thank you, censorship gnome. The stove was black and empty. Just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. Yes, we've established that she's crazy. <laughs> no point in going to the cafeteria yet, because I don't have the recipe. And people will just be mean nuns at me. Lily, nice to see you. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. He's an idiot. I think you're great, just as you are. Lily's Aww. heart skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. It's gonna be kind of sad when I kill you. Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I might be old, but I can... I can tell you stories that'll make your ears ring. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment, but only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. So get your hands... hands... Oh. So they just keep a rambling old man on a hanging hook, hanging hook in the closet. Someone had trapped the guinea pig in a glass. The animal took it in stride. It didn't even try breaking out. Is it a preserved guinea pig? That's creepy. Um. And sad, but still cute, because guinea pig. Oh, a visitor. What a rare, rare, rare animal. The Hawk, but I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with with extra ketchup, please. All right. What are you uh, doing here, old man? Uh, Your creepy weirdness is how creepy and weird. Of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be when the pyramids were built. I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back Free then Tibet. I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant <laughs> in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh yes, I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition <laughs> Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history class. Uh, class. That explains why you're on, in the storage room, I guess. Uh, 
I'll get to that in a moment. First, I wanted yes, to tell you... Yes, you have to listen to all this to unlock plot telling stuff. Telling stories takes a lot of skill. That's why I worked for a while as an exhibition piece for history class in a convent school. I just had to tell stories about my adventures once a week. For example, how I used to excavate secret crypts with the Templars below the school. Oh my god, he's talking, but he's missing the Templars. Time as a lighting assistant for the moon landing. He's a very talky man. Uh. Hmm? W what? Oh, oh, I must have dropped off for a moment. But I was just going to tell you an exciting story from my past. Unfortunately, yes, was you it were. Was the story of how I tried to navigate to... Cape Town and ended up discovering the Eurasian continent? Uh -uh. Oh, I know. I wanted to tell you how I helped the Templar Knights build the convent chapel, right? Uh -huh. Yep. I was particularly happy because I had eaten a banana. Or oh, was I sad because all there was to eat was coconuts again? No, the coconuts were when the Trojan mayor gave me the key to the city for my heroic valor. Or was my heroic valor while building dikes in Atlantis? But I think I had an apple that day. Wasn't I a little more sleepy in Atlantis? And angry while building the chapel? Oh, what poppycock. I'm getting everything mixed up. Fortunately, I created a memory aid just for this anecdote, so that I'd remember the location of the secret crypts below the convent chapel. Uh-oh. Someone tidied up the shelf. That's where the objects for my three E's should be. Emotion, engagement, and eating. Now I can't... Um... Yeah, it's basically one of those word puzzles. Can't make a fool of myself. You get the basic information. Now, let's see. Uh, no, no, no fear. I haven't forgotten. On uh, the con just this get to is the thanks thing, please. to a little trick I learned from an old Chinese mason. Maybe long time for a break. Ago. I'm getting impatient. All I need is a memory aid, like objects that remind me of the three E's. The first E stands for emotion. It tells me whether I was sad, happy, or angry in that situation. Yeah. The second E stands for engagement. It reminds me of whether I overcame the situation with strength, heroic courage, or sleepiness. The third E stands for eating. To remember, I have to know which fruit I ate that day. Vitamins are good for the... Uh, for uh, the... Um, the three E's. Clues. Uh, That's what I need. That's the one I need to look at. I know at. exactly what you're looking for. An instructive story about my time with the Templar Knights. Unfortunately, my memory aid is still missing a few important pieces. If I only knew what the three E's for this story were. But right now, all I can remember are a few vague associations. Four, to be precise. All right. On this one specific day when I was helping the Templars, I was neither happy about an apple nor angry about a banana. But I also wasn't sad about a banana. Or happy about a coconut. So does that mean banana equals Coconuts sleepy? Coconuts were always good at preventing sleepiness. Hmm? Um, okay. Coconuts were always good at preventing sleepiness. Hmm? Well, you know, coconuts are not sleepy. I could only do heroic deeds on days when I wasn't sad. On the other hand, if I was angry, I could never show great strength.
Okay. I could only do heroic oh, deeds. I did that one. I could only. Bah! As everyone knows, each different food creates exactly one emotion and promotes one characteristic. For example, I was never sad if I'd packed a few apples because they always helped me be very strong. Okay, we got our clues. All right. Now I just got to find the things in question. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Ooh, firecrackers. Fire How did they ever get up there? Wait, what now? Firecrackers. Oh, he just How said firecrackers. They... How did they get up there? I don't know. All right, I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night. Or, or not. I'm not the boss of you.